Hey guys, today I am visiting Batu Caves in Kuala Lumpur. In KL traffic, you can see the Murugan statue, but still so far. Thank you. Outside are flower stalls selling offerings. Immediately, you will see the colorful gate with intricate statues. The statue has a commanding presence, but what worries me is the height of the stairs that I'm about to climb. This is the second time I am here in Batu Caves. The first time I chickened out on the side of the steps. This time, I am going for it. Hmm, the stairs are so high, I don't know if I can make it. There's a total of 272 steps, but I won't get there if I don't start moving because every destination starts with a single step. Worshippers help to carry buckets of sand to the top in support of the reconstruction of the shrine. This is no easy feat. Feet or feet are both appropriate for this case. Let's make it easy. On that last step, I was so relieved that I made it. Admittedly, it is a very exhausting climb, but the views from the top is unbelievable. You realize the height when you get there. The tall cave ceiling welcomes you at the top, while the Hindu god statues in intricate designs and bright colors can be found everywhere. On the left hand is a temple that is being constructed, but the cave itself is unbelievably high. There is so much to see and I don't want to miss a thing. Super glasses on! It's astonishing how nature creates places like this. The vastness of the space and amount of work in here amazes me. And just when you thought the climb is over, there is one more staircase waiting for you. It can be exciting to see what's up there, but it's more important to watch the steps as you go along. <laughs> so dangerous. I told you, watch your step. There's another temple up there, but the animals that live in the cave caught my attention. There is an opening at the top that brings in natural light. There are younger monkeys and bigger monkeys that live side by side with the pigeons. I am very hesitant to come close to the monkeys, but the other tourists were unafraid to get close to them. So, am I a total chicken? Yep, I am a chicken. Open your hand. The beautifully decorated statues continue at this area. Candles are lit and prayers are being offered. People go along with their rituals, so it's very important to be quiet, respect the worshippers, and the temple. The art of their culture is so beautiful. I love this hand-painted ceiling, and it matches well with the chandelier. While trying to take a selfie, I saw two monkeys doing something that kids like me should not be seeing. Selfie success! There are souvenir shops near the entrance. You can buy a Malaysian flag or this mesmerizing thingy that I'm not sure what is. The monkeys that have scattered all around makes a definition of concrete jungle more meaningful.
Midway through the bridge is a smaller cave where you can join a guided tour to see bats and other animals inside a dark dungeon. Monkeys hang out while I climb down the stairs, and they seem very friendly. Going up there is definitely not easy. People including me are taking breaks once in a while, but inside the cave is so big you just have to see it. Even though this climb made me feel very tired, at least now I can say that the other caves off my list now. Always do something you have never tried and you'll discover something new. BTW, this is how I look like after all that exploration. And this is me trying to hide my fear of heights while I climb the stairs. It's a total workout. 